Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, May 30th, 2023. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 692 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, the Demon Hunter's romance with Ellen Rin and Lorena Song passes review. Amidst a snowstorm of love with Liu Wu and Angel Zhao, officially wraps filming. Wang Yipo's agency releases a statement after an obsessive fan professes her love to the actor on an airplane. And William Chan tells of a scary airplane incident that had him thinking he was a goner. But first, here's what's recently premiered, two dramas for today and yesterday. Prosecution Elite has aired, the legal-slash-crime drama starring Dil Raba and Tung Da Wei hit Tencent yesterday. They also shared this poster yesterday to announce that they had broken 20,000 popularity points within 40 minutes of airing. In the drama, Dil Raba is Anni, an investigator with the public prosecutor's office. During her investigation, she discovers a live streaming app that's linked to criminal activities. Tong Da Wei plays a police officer who collaborates with her. Prosecution Elite is slated for 40 episodes and is available on Wii TV with English subs. Then there's Mr. Insomnia Waiting for Love, a modern romance drama starring Snow Kong and Wu Yihang. It premiered earlier today. She is a talented musician who suffers from chronic insomnia that no medicine can cure. He is a tech company's president who suffers from the same condition and it is affecting his work. However, the two come to discover that with each other's touch, they can fall asleep in a matter of seconds. Mr. Insomnia Waiting for Love is slated for 24 episodes and is available on YouTube with English subs. And that's it for dramas and premiere dates. Moving on, dramas that recently passed review. I have just one to update on, The Demon Hunter's Romance. The Demon Hunter's Romance is an upcoming costume drama starring Ellen Rin and Lorena Song. It passed review and obtained an online record number yesterday, May 29th. The drama, which wrapped in November last year, is set in a world where humans and demons coexist. Lorena Song is a wealthy family's young lady who many regard as crazy because she claims she can see demons. When she accuses her cousin's sister-in-law of being a demon, she becomes targeted and runs away. That's when she meets a demon hunter played by Ellen Ren. Together, they form a relationship and investigate various strange incidents in the city. The Demon Hunter's romance is slated for 36 episodes and will stream on IGE. That's it for Drama's Passing Review. Moving on, Raps and Bootings, we begin with Amidst a Snowstorm of Love. Amidst a Snowstorm of Love is an upcoming modern romance drama starring Liu Wu and Angel Zhao. The cast and crew rapped recently and shared photos from the event. The drama has already been quite a hot topic on social media, with photos of the cast and crew filming in Europe and China circulating. Yesterday, they shared some official character posters, which I thought looked pretty cool. The drama follows a snooker player and a pool player who meet one night in a once-in-a-decade snowstorm and fall in love. Here's Angel Zhao taking aim at the nine ball. Posture is so important for actors who want to portray pool players convincingly, in my opinion. Both Leo and Angel look like they have great form. The drama also shared an interesting behind-the-scenes video which you can find on YouTube. Amidst a snowstorm of love is slated for 38 episodes and will stream on Tencent. From a rap, we go to a booting. The Truth recently started up. The Truth stars Simon Kong, Jiang Wu, and Sun Yi. The modern crime drama held their booting ceremony recently and shared photos of it on May 27th. Here are the lead cast. It's been a couple of years since a drama starring Simon Kong aired. 2021's Dream Garden with Bridget Chiao was the last. Jiang Wu is a veteran of Chinese cinema with a long list of titles to his name. His latest drama was 2021's Small Happiness. Sun Yi, on the other hand, already has four of her dramas air in 2023, the latest being Pledge of Allegiance. According to Baidu, in The Truth, the three leads and a couple others form a professional elite team at the Criminal Technology Section of the Yunsi Public Security Bureau. The drama follows them as they investigate important and strange cases. 
It is slated for 30 episodes and will stream on Tencent. Lastly, for drama updates and opening Topan rating, Warm and Sweet got theirs. Warm and Sweet, the modern female-centric drama starring Victoria Song and Michelle Chen, aired its finale on May 25th. It got its opening Topan rating a couple of days ago, an average score of 7.2 from almost 30,000 ratings. Those of you who followed or are still following the drama, too high, too low, or just about right, let us know in the comment section below. Alright, celebrity updates now and today we begin with Wang Yibo. On May 26th, the 25-year-old actor-singer's agency shared this statement to say, Recently, our artist, Mr. Wang Yibo, has been deeply harassed by obsessive stalker fans. It has seriously affected his work, the daily lives of his family and friends, and social and public order. The statement goes on to describe some of the extreme behaviors that have been happening. They call it sisheng behavior. Squatting out at hotels, breaking into film sets, not heeding police advice, hanging out at Wang Yibo's friends' and family's houses, chasing airplanes and cars, etc. And speaking of airplanes, Wang Yibo's agency statement comes on the back of an alleged incident, a pretty bizarre one that happened on a plane. On May 27th, a short clip circulated social media. It showed a woman in a seat in an airplane screaming, Your Majesty, I love you, I love you, while a flight attendant is watching over her. Off camera, a man can be heard screaming back, Are you sick? Not to be lost in all this is the gentleman next to the woman seemingly taking a nap. So the story behind this, reportedly, is that there was a fan on the same flight as Ipo. She knelt down in an aisle and professed her love for him. Hong Kong media outlet On.CC quoted netizens who witnessed the incident as saying that the fan screamed, I love you, I love you, your majesty, please accept this concubine's bow. And the story continues. Apparently, a second fan who was also on the plane and who thought of herself as Wang Yibo's fiancé felt that the first fan was unworthy of being a concubine. The two fans got into a fight and the cabin crew had to intervene and call the cops. Throughout it all, Wang Yibo had his headphones on and paid no attention to it. Remarkable stuff, really, which honestly I don't know whether to believe or not. But anyway, that is the story. Make of it what you will. Another story that involves an airplane, this one is certified true because it comes straight from the horse's mouth. According to this recent 8 Days article by Ilsa Chan, William Chan was on a flight that had to make an emergency landing due to a bomb threat. The article quotes the actor-singer from Hong Kong as saying, It's the first time I felt like I was gonna die. William was on an episode of the variety show Camping Life when he recounted the harrowing incident which took place in 2018. The topic of discussion was happiness or bad luck in life, and the 37-year-old shared the latter. William explained that he was on a flight out of Paris. Around two or three hours in, he heard a code being announced repeatedly on the in-flight system. When I saw the flight attendants rushing in and out of the cockpit, I was scared at that moment, he revealed. William went on to say that the plane was discharging fuel in mid-air, which is something that planes do if they want to lose weight, and they have to lose weight if they want to turn around and go back to the airport it departed from. The plane then suddenly descended and made a sharp turn, causing the passengers to scream. That was the first time I felt like I was gonna be gone, he said with a look of distress, adding that the plane soon fell into silence and the atmosphere was grave. Eventually, though, the plane stabilized and returned to the Paris airport. After they landed in Paris, they were kept in the plane for two hours before getting checked and finally released. It was only later that William learned that there was a bomb threat on the plane. According to the 8 Days article, half an hour after takeoff, the police received a tip-off about a suspected bomb on the flight. It turned out to be a false alarm, one that resulted from a misunderstanding between the airline and a passenger who had arrived late for the flight. Although William didn't reveal which airline it was, media reports have stated that it was an Air China flight from Paris to Beijing. Scary moments that I can't even imagine. Fortunately, no one was hurt. William remarked, I felt very unlucky at the time, but looking back, I think I was very lucky. William stars in the upcoming modern drama A Date with the Future with Chang Ronan. It is rumored to premiere soon. 
On that note, it's Tuesday today, so time for another segment of Where's Mark Is At. The title of the segment doesn't refer to where I'm at physically, it refers to where I'm at in the dramas I'm following. I'm currently following one drama. I'm on episode 26 of The Ingenious One starring Chen Xiao and Rachel Mao, following it on iQiyi where it's available with English subs. Still enjoying the drama, but I do find that the second half has been a bit slow. I have been skipping quite a bit. We'll be hoping for a good ending to top it all off. I also want to check out Prosecution Elite sometime this week. And that's been another segment of Where's Mark Is At. Before I let you guys go, I want to give a big shout out to Melanie Nelson, who recently became a patron on my Patreon. Thank you for your support, Melanie. And that brings us to the end of this episode. This show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.